mitakiapi, my very beloved relatives of the union of the condor, the quetzal, and the eagle. My heart is very thankful today, on this very day that shall not be followed by night, that we stand here together with all our ancestors and relatives, past, present, and future. As we arise in our union, stronger than ever before. As we know over 500 years ago, there was across the Americas the most enlightened, the most illumined spiritual civilization humanity has ever known in recorded history. And from that union and our prophecies, that promised after a long spiritual wintertime, whether it was a prophecy of a white buffalo or it was a prophecies of black elk or other prophecies. It was promised after this long winter time we'd arise, and so as the eight days come, my beloved relatives. I want to give thanksgiving to the Ramapo Lenape Nation and Chief Dwayne Perry to their sovereignty and their long-standing protection of the sovereignty and lands of the Ramapo Lenape people who are now so kindly hosting us in our global embassy. And so Mitaki Epi, on this day in which we celebrate the harvest of the last 500 years, as we arise stronger, more unified, with greater communications and even a greater vision than ever, ever before. And I send you warm, heartfelt handshake and embrace to each and every one of you and your beloved ones, your families, wherever you may be. As we sit here in this sacred circle, this sacred hoop of many hoops, long foretold, long foretold in our sacred prophecies. And so now to call our steps forward, I'm going to call and use this eagle bone whistle four times to the four directions, the Father, Sky, and Mother Earth, and to ourselves. We might arise with greater strength, greater unity, greater peace, greater harmony, greater creativeness, greater inventiveness, and greater vision than ever before. My names are Shukmanu. My name is Chinupasapa. And I stand responsible for the Creator for my words and my actions as we move towards the beginning of world peace by 2030. Haolimichante Washte.